Hey guys, it's Rachel from the Lorraine Lamb, and today's news I'm back to me. I'm sorry I've been absent for the last two weeks, and technically last night. Um, I have good reasons, of course, but I'm going to share a few first when I'm reading, kind of like an update, an update on my schedule, that kind of thing when it comes to posting. So the first book I'm reading in my main book right now is Followers by Megan Angelo, and I'm really enjoying this book. Like, I read the first chapter and was like, oh, okay, and then like by the second chapter, it really grabbed me. Um, I'm on page, whoop, just missed my bookmark, 243, chapter 14. So I think I'm close, yeah, I'm about halfway through the book or a little bit more than half by now. Um, so let's see, there. And this book like takes place in 2015 slash 2016 and then also in 2051. Um... And I don't really read, like, I would consider this kind of sci-fi-esque because it does take place in the future. I don't know if that's really a correct identifier, but they do have technology and stuff they talk about. So I've not really read a lot of this genre. I did take a sci-fi course in university, but we didn't read a lot of contemporary stuff. Um, and by contemporary, I mean stuff that's, like, published after the year 2000. Um, I don't know if that's technically considered contemporary, but, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm really enjoying that. And then I'm still reading the Star Wars archives. I'm currently, I'm not going to open it because, you know, the flat boys gets in the way. But I'm on page 200, or 462. I have a little bit left, that little bit left of the book to finish reading. And I think it's about 50 to 60 pages left of the book. So I hope to finish it, if not next week, by the week after. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm currently reading. You'll be able to see the other books I've read the last, I've barely read anything, but the last two weeks in my March slash April wrap up, which I'm hoping to film this upcoming weekend and posting it. I kind of want to film on Saturday, so I'm hoping that happens. If not, I'll try to make it Sunday and make it happen. But basically, what kind of happened was, I remember it was the 11th of April, I think, that I was supposed to post. Um, on the 12th of April, I had my... Um, doctor's appointment with my results and I was kind of not shaken up but it's just like I wanted them to find something so they can figure out what's going on that kind of thing because I'm sick of it being like oh it's fine and it's like that something's not fine so got my results back and just got parse words here they found something so I'm moving on to a specialist appointment which I have this week she said it could take up to a year to get the appointment but I got it like a week like technically it's two not two weeks, but it's 18 days, 18, 15, something. It's anyway, like two weeks after my initial appointment. So I'm really happy because that's going to get the ball rolling. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know, I've been dealing with some health stuff for like around 15, 16 years by this point. So it's nice to finally get some conclusive like answers and at least like we're getting somewhere. Like I don't feel like I'm paddling and getting nowhere anymore. So that was, has kind of been really heavy on my mind just dealing with that. My personal life's been a bit blooming, even though I've, my province is technically in lockdown. Um, but a lot of good stuff's been happening there, and I've been able to connect with a lot of people, even though we are in lockdown, technically. Um, I also finished my semester last... So last week, I finished my semester on Monday. I was so stressed out Sunday, just trying to get everything done. I was like, I'm going to edit my project on Monday and hand her in, and... I was like, all intents and purposes was going to film on Monday, but then this week just kind of spiraled out of control, or last week. So yeah, that's kind of where I've been at. So I kind of have this week off. I'm working one day this week. Um, the schools of my province are back to being virtual, so jobs are a little bit sparse right now. But working one day, and I'm trying to relax this week because I start school next week for the May-June semester, and then I'm off till September, but I'm still working on my schoolwork all throughout the summer. It's a lot. <laughs> so this week I'm trying to enjoy myself as much as possible because it's going to be my solid week off until the summer when I'm planning on taking at least a week off from all my work if that's possible. You know, I'm still working, I guess, this week one day, but it's only one day. Um, but yeah, it's kind of what's been going on. It's kind of made everything a bit crazier. April, March, the ending of March and up until this point, April has been kind of a whirlwind of activity so that's why like I had all like I had intended to film on the Mondays after I finished after I didn't film on the Sundays but then everything just kind of got out of control then it was Tuesday then it was Wednesday and I was like by Thursday I might as well wait till Sunday and you know so I hope to po post my March April wrap up 
by the end of the first week of May, um, I just kind of want to film and edit it all on the same day and post that for your, everybody. I still have to edit my favorites video, so I'm going to try to get that two weeks after that. And now we're going to see. Like, I'm still loving filming for YouTube and editing and all that, but I just feel like I'm bogged down sometimes and I don't like to edit. So I like doing these videos because, like, I don't have to edit. So I'm thinking of maybe doing videos where I just film and then upload and kind of, like, who cares if I have mistakes. So kind of more so live, but not live like I pre-film it so I can make sure it's not horrendous and then post it but we will see because I still want to do YouTube and I still have the passion for it it's just like this um June it's been 10 years so like I've had like slumps and I feel like I've just been in this slump but I think it's also because I live in a, my household like it's hard for me to get quiet time and sometimes when I have the quiet time I have to focus on other stuff during that time so I'm going to try to pre-film some stuff and start getting on that, but I'm not going to make any promises because I just want to make sure I'm okay. But I still want to do wrap-ups and these videos and book hauls and stuff like that. I just need to get back on the ball and keep doing it. Um, so yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching though. Let me know how your weeks have been. Um, I feel very out of touch with all of you. And thank you as always for supporting my channel and supporting me. I really appreciate it and I'll see you later. Bye.